Infinity here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you guys are here and I hope that you're all doing well. In today's Dream Address Island Tour, we're headed to the island of Mitchell. This island is set to a thunderstorm. It is so amazing and so elegant. And take a look at my dress. Isn't this just gorgeous and fitting for this island? I will leave all of the information in the description below and I'll put the design code actually right here so you guys can check out the design and other designs by this designer. I said design a lot there. <laughs> all right, so here we are on the island of Mitchell and let's take a look at the flag. Oh, it's so cute, it's just like a character. Oh, look at the thunderstorm in the background. And here I am struggling to open the map, but here we are. So we've got Island Creator Moni. We've got Marshall, Hans, Marina, Raymond, Etwal. We've got Rold, Wolfgang. Oh, no, that's not Wolfgang. Dobie, Sherb, Rilla, and Chai. How cute are all these villagers? All right, let's head to the entrance and take a look. So here I am at the entrance and right away you, oh, that thunderstorm. <laughs> so right away you can head up the staircase, but what do we normally do? Let's head left and take a look at what we have here. So here is a little spa area. Look at, you could get your nails did and relax in the whirlpool. And then let's take a look at the beach that's right in front of this spa. So over here on the beach, we've got a coral reef. How cute is this and how creative using the mush partition as like a coral reef. I love that. I love it. <laughs> so right in behind the coral reef, take a look at this area here. This bench right here, I was playing music and then I wanted to get a better angle with the camera like this angle, but we can't play the piano when the camera is open. Like, hello Nintendo, I just want to play the piano at a good angle. <laughs> but yeah, so anyways, and then as soon as you tilt the camera and start playing, it kind of brings it back down again. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, let's walk through this coral reef and look at this. How fun is this? It's water slides, <laughs> water slides right on the beach. I love this. So let's head up this staircase right here by the entrance and at first I was like what are these glowing things? It's the mush lamp but they're like buried. Look at that. Don't they look amazing? Like well not from this view but this view. Look at how cool that looks. Again how creative. And we're just going to keep walking along here and take a look at this gorgeous space. This is just beautiful. It's like a sunken waterfall fountain area. So elegant and just so gorgeous.
And then there's this gorgeous spot here as well. This is a land bridge that I'm going on, but we will come back to this area for sure. And Marina just suddenly appeared out of nowhere, and then she was blocking my way. <laughs> she wouldn't leave. And I didn't want to push her, so I just let her be. And look at this little, look at this rock garden over here. It's a sunken rock garden, but it's not really sunken, but it's sunken from here. This is just gorgeous. It's a floating rock garden. That's what it is. That's what I meant. A floating rock garden. <laughs> All right, let's see if Marina's moved. And she hasn't. I'm not going to push her because I'm not like that. So I patiently waited and she moved just enough for me to sneak by and look at the view from here. This is nice. This is very, very nice. I love the waterscaping and the terraforming on this island. It is just gorgeous. And then we've got an angled uh, land bridge and look at this this is the asteroid this is where the asteroid hit so if you guys watched my 10 campsite video I featured Mitchell's campsite in that video and this is where the meteor came and hit and created a huge crater and there is the space campsite I love this and then over here to the left we've got a little dig site because it's super cute okay so I'm back here at the spa because I actually didn't show this house <laughs> and I was like right there too so I wanted to come back and show this house and I'm pretty sure this is E12's house but I'm gonna double check because I can't really see the picture clearly yes yes it is it's E12's house this is super cute and then I'm going to keep going left over here. And this is the river mouth terraforming. So again, I featured Mitchell's Island on or in my latest video with the 10 river mouth ideas because look at this. So here is the river mouth right here. And then the stunning terraforming and waterscaping around it. It is just gorgeous. And speaking of gorgeous, look at this shot. Oh my, this is gorgeous. This is so, I don't even know, breathtaking. Like it's just, it's stunning. All right, so over here to the left, we've got Marshall's house. I had to double check, but his picture's like right there. <laughs> All I had to do was look at the picture, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> And then I'm going back here. So this takes us back to the crater and to the little dig site. And then, oh my goodness, look at this terraforming and the waterscaping here on another land bridge. I love land bridges so much. <laughs> and then look at the view from here. Look at this forest. This is just in incredible and then this actually takes us straight to the museum which has turned into a volcano I just I can't get over the creativity on this island it just it blew me away So I'm going to go into this pipe and let's see where this leads us. This actually takes to island creator Moni's house. So I'm just going to make sure 
that we take a look at it from the outside and look at this look at how gorgeous this is it's like an ice palace I love it I love how this looks all right so let's head back inside and take a look at how the interior is decorated so here we are in the main room and it's like the trophy room this is just you know I actually didn't realize how nice the trophy case is look at how good that looks like I had the DIY on Stardew Isle and I never used it but I think I'm gonna use it for my new island because that's so nice and the room in the back we've got like an aquarium or like yeah I would call this an aquarium wouldn't you but it's kind of the bathroom as well it's an aquarium bathroom Let, let's just call it that and look at the fish I love that that huge clam it's gorgeous and then this is the room on the right and it's Hello Kitty I know Moni loves Rilla and so she definitely had to have a whole Hello Kitty room just to honor her love for Rilla and then this is the kitchen the room on the left this is such a beautiful kitchen area I, I actually love how the cutting board is placed here it's just simple like it's just a cutting board but I love how it's placed and then here we are in the basement and this is like to me this was like a nightclub at first I came down here and I was like what could this be and it's got like a little restaurant like a dining area but I'm gonna go with nightclub that's a nightclub for sure and then here we are upstairs and we're at the rooftop um, I was gonna call it a patio I guess you could call it a patio a rooftop patio restaurant and it's got the thunderstorm wall I love this this totally matches the island vibe like a hundred percent okay so I'm just gonna go back into the pipe so that takes us straight back to the museum and then we can carry on with the rest of Mitchell's island tour so just taking that hop over and over this bridge we've got a beautiful little romantic spot and take a look at this view from here this screams date night like not just regular date night this is like anniversary date night or like a proposal date night <laughs> am I like am I just like in my own fantasy world or do you guys see that too <laughs> please let me know leave a comment down below So I'm just going to head back down here to the beach and this is actually Rilla's house. So she lives on the beach and she takes care of the orchard that's right behind her and then there's this rose bed where her and Hans who's her boyfriend on Mitchell they meet up for their date nights. Yep she's living the dream on on Mitchell that Rilla. <laughs> She's definitely living the dream.
just gonna make my way up the beach here and on the peninsula we've got Chai's house look at how cute her house is and I love all of the cinema roll items that are placed this is super cute like super cute all right so let's take a look at the rest of the beach on the left hand side well look there's marina again <laughs> she's our tour guide i think on mitchell and look it's penguin cove is that what it what it is that what you would call it yeah penguin cove look at them gathering here on the rock how cute is this and then i'm just gonna make my way through we've got a little fishing spot here with the fishing poles and then at the back here look at this it's the jaws movie scene like they're filming the movie here how creative is this and then this spot here right off the beach is the mad scientist lab look at what the mad scientist created okay so we're back here at this gorgeous land bridge and just take a look at this like I can't get over it and I love how the ice pillars like they're frozen pillars I think that's what they're called they're like they're like sunken in or like buried in there as well so they're not so like tall but they just look beautiful and then over here we've got Roald's house and it looks like he is the beekeeper he is like the honey farm keeper and now it makes sense why the wasp nest is right there and the net because this is the perfect shot right here of his little honey farm I love this and then just going back in behind here here we have the space campsite Look at this stunning area. So again, with the terraforming and the waterscaping, this is just gorgeous. I want to see if I can get a better view of this. So here I see that there's only one tile of space, so I can definitely hop over. So that's what I'm going to do right now. See if I can hop over and just get a better angled shot of this space because it's just gorgeous. Okay, so this space right behind here, look at the perspective here and it's totally like 
it just plays with your mind because it looks like it's on a cliff because that's like what it's supposed to be but just I couldn't get over this like I couldn't get over this perspective look at how amazing this looks And here is another stunning spot on Mitchell. It's a sunken waterfall lake with the moon right in the middle. And this is just gorgeous. So I'm back here by the campsite and take a look at this crescent moon lake. This is gorgeous with all of the gold roses all around. Now this is an expensive lake. <laughs> and look at this. Isn't this just stunning? I thought that this was just absolutely beautiful. This just looks amazing. And again with the creativity. I love this. And here we are. This is Abel Sisters. Okay, so Island Creator Moni told me that she had left gifts. So if you guys come visit Mitchell, make sure that you head right off, like when you wake up from your bed at Residence Services, head to the left because there's all, all the gifts and ladder, like the ladder and everything is in that open spot back there. So I didn't go left. <laughs> I went straight down to the entrance, so I missed out on all of that, but you guys definitely make sure you pick up the gifts because there's a ladder on there. Okay, so I'm back here kind of at the entrance, and I wanted to show you the full view of the house. Isn't that gorgeous? And then here we are on the beach right in the front. So we'll take a look at all of the beach area over here. So this is the blue beach. So everything is blue themed here and super cute with all of the butterfly models. This is just beautiful. Like there's like it's simple, but it's just it's stunning. And then here we are on the second river mouth. So I'm just going to hop over. This here is Marina's house. And the mermaid fencing is just perfect here for her house. And this we've got our glamping area. This is just too elegant. <laughs> it's too elegant to be like a campsite. So it's glamping for sure. And then here we are on the pier. It's just a little fishing spot. And then we'll head up the right hand side of the beach. So I'm back here in behind the blue beach and this is where Nook's cranny is. So I'm stuck on something there. Oh, there's a fence right there. 
<laughs> I was like, I can't move. But yeah, so here is Nook's Cranny. And then right beside Nook's Cranny, we've got the gorgeous canal on Mitchell. So I don't know why I keep getting stuck. But here, this is what I was talking about. This is the gorgeous canal. So I hopped over <laughs> when there was a bridge right there, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so we're back here at Marina's house. Behind Marina, we've got Raymond's house. And then behind him, this is, is this Sherb's house? I'm pretty sure this is Sherb's house, but... Look, he runs like a little sweet shop on Mitchell. I love this. And the blue diner items match his house perfectly. And then here we've got Dobie's house, who I called Wolfgang. <laughs> I'm not sure why I called him Wolfgang. But yeah, this is Dobie's house. He's got actually, he actually has like a really nice house. And I'm just going to head back here. And to the right, this takes us right back onto the beach. And so let's go to the left here. And we're going to head back down the canal. I want to just show you guys the like a shot of the canal because it's gorgeous. So again, this is part of the river mouth that I featured um, on my last video. And here we go. This is a beautiful shot of the canal. And you can see the other bridge in the background as well. Okay, so right in behind me there is a pirate ship. Like, the creativity here is just, it's just stunning. Uh, we'll definitely go into the pirate ship so you guys can see it. But this is just amazing. I love this. And then right here is a plant shop. So this is what the entrance to this plant shop looks like. But we will come back to this because there's a couple more things that I want to show you to the left of this. So let's head there first and take a look. So the first thing is we've got, oh, this brings us back to Able Sisters. And the first part here, so this is like a little Mario like Raceway, so Mario's Raceway, and that's Princess Peach's castle. Look at how good that looks. I love that. And we've got Princess Peach right there is her dress, so that's where she hangs out. And and then we're we'll take a look at this build right here. I hopped across there and I was like, no, that is not the way to go there. <laughs> So I'm going to go properly here. And then I was kind of in the way in this shot. So I tried to move over as best as I could. But this is just beautiful over here. And then after this, we will head to the plant shop. And then through the plant, plant shop and kind of towards the back is the secret beach.
So here I am right behind the little resident area and take a look at how gorgeous this is. It's luminescent lake. Isn't this just stunning? And then in behind here, I'm going to go around here to the right. Right in behind here is Hans's ice palace. Look at his house, you guys. This is just absolutely beautiful. And then after Hans's house, we are going to go and take a look at the pirate ship. I tried to leave there, but that butterfly was in the way. <laughs> and yeah, so after this, we will go and take a look at the pirate ship. And then in behind the pirate ship area. So here, this is the pirate ship. Look at how creative this is. Look at how amazing this is. I think this is just gorgeous. This looks amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this island tour of the island of Mitchell. Thank you so much to Island Creator Moni for the opportunity to come and film and tour her island. It is absolutely incredible. I will leave all of the island information down below so you can come and visit for yourself or follow along on Instagram. I'm going to make my way back to Luna and back to Sudsy Cove. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video because maybe it'll help me hit YouTube's algorithm or maybe not. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!